What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is The Altcoin Analyst and today we're talking about crypto, wealth preservation. So in a previous video I discussed how you can start to earn crypto and put your crypto to work without having to speculate on whether the price is going up or going down. If you're able to provide stables to a liquidity pool, you can earn yield. And to jump into this video, yesterday I staked on a pool and that pool was 30% APY. And I was gonna show you guys how much you can earn by staking $2,000 after a 24 hour period. Now, this takes a little bit of active management because when you stake, you actually are gonna to have to sell off the asset that you're getting because the way the, the way the yield is realized is that you're getting an, a token emission from the protocol. Now, is this sustainable? Well, yes and no. The token emission is actually used in governance to determine where what pools get incentivized. So we don't necessarily care about using that token as governance or as the governance power that it provides, but we are interested in swapping that token for a USDC. This is pretty technically crypto advanced. So what that means is if you're not storing your own keys or storing your own crypto, and if you haven't made a swap on a decentralized exchange, maybe this video might not be for you, but I plan on providing all that educational content over the course of time. So if you are, if you are self custodying your own crypto and you have your own keys and you've made a swap on a decentralized exchange, then this might be for you. In this example, if we are given 30% APY on the $2,000, you can earn up to $600 a year. This APY is gonna fluctuate and that's normal, but this is where it takes some active management to continuously sell off the governance tokens that you receive or to continuously sell off the tokens that you are emitted to USDC or a USDC equivalent. There are several stable coins out there that you can, you can swap to. The other thing is in when we get later into the video i don't show you how i acquire the assets however on aerodrome finance it's a dex so if you want those assets all you have to do is swap for them you can go up to swap and you can swap any token that they have available for high usd and eusd so i left that out but that's an important note is that to get those assets you can just swap for them in the the decks i start off the video by opening up metamask and adding a base network and then going and depositing those funds so this is what i did yesterday and we'll start now let's get started the first thing you need to do is set up a metamask wallet now i've already done that and like i said we're utilizing base we only have the ethereum mainnet here so we need to go into here and click add network once we have to add our network, we have to add it manually. And good thing we have the base.org docs because we just copy these values, the network name, and then we save. And then we've successfully added base mainnet. Uh, got it, switch to base mainnet. So now that we are on base mainnet, we can go ahead and close that. We can connect to Aerodrome Finance. And I want to connect this account, connect, and it's connecting. So we have now connected our wallet. So if we go up to the dashboard, we can see that there's nothing here. We have not supplied liquidity and we are going to this pool right here for our 30%, 30.37%, which it keeps changing, it will fluctuate. So what we do is we need to get these assets in our wallet all we care about is this 30 percent and the arrow token we are going to immediately swap it to usdc as as the pool grows the apy is going to shrink so it's it's a short-term thing to try and attract liquidity now the reason they're allowed to emit the arrow token is because by attracting liquidity the arrow protocol is then earning on trading fees. So it's this kind of interesting little DeFi flywheel effect, but again, I don't wanna to get too deep into that. We really only care about this 30%. If you have $100,000 and you are earning 30%, you are earning $30,000 per year, which I think is a pretty cool concept. So, all right, 
now we have these tokens in our wallet we can you can click on the pool and click deposit and then you can go uh you click here and it'll tell you a thousand uh high usd and a thousand eusd close to it you're going to be supplying about one to one and it's going to account for slippage so you have to allow the um in your metamask wallet you have to allow the you have to grant access to be able to spend it it's a relatively new thing that metamask does approve and so it's allowing and then you click deposit and then again approve that in your wallet click deposit and we can go up to the dashboard and we see that we've deposited in our wallet a thousand high usd and a thousand eusd um which over here it says it's unstaked and it's deposited so we click on the dashboard and we can see in our wallet we have no more high usd and 3.1 eusd we can see that we've deposited that into the pool so we are still not earning that 32 percent, 30 percent what we have to do is click stake once we click stake we're, we are going to start earning the arrow tokens so let's click stake and we have to go through the same process again approving it in our wallet and we can click stake again we have to approve this in our wallet Good, now the staking is confirmed. So if we go back up to our dashboard, we can see that we now have staked this amount. So we are now earning 30.26%. And so far we've earned 0 0.00443. Pretty cool. So for this video, I'm going to stake this amount for 24 hours and we will come back tomorrow and see how much arrow we've earned. And then once we claim our arrow, we're gonna swap it back to our USD, USDC equivalent, which is USDBC. So we are gonna come back tomorrow to see how much we've earned in a day. Now, we're coming back 24 hours later to the pool that we deposited and staked funds in yesterday, and we come back to an interesting surprise. We can see on the screen here that we have 139% APR. Now, I don't know why, but that's not a bad surprise to, to come back to. This might be because people have voted to incentivize this pool. And so 139% APR, that's not sustainable. It's likely that this pool will grow over time and that emission will decrease. With what we deposited and staked yesterday, we can see that we've earned almost $2, 55 euro. And this incentive has just started in, like a couple hours ago. So the majority of the revenue we've earned, we've earned from that original 30%. So all we have to do is go ahead and cl click claim. We'll come back to the MetaMask, confirm. And as soon as it, there we go, emissions for have been claimed. And we can see now that we have zero arrow tokens. We can head to our wallet, we can import tokens. This is the arrow token contract import. And we can go back and we can see that we have about $2 of arrow in our wallet. We don't care about this token and throughout yield farming and any APR we're getting, we're not in this for the governance power. We are going to immediately swap that to USDC. So now what we're gonna do is swap the arrow for USDC. And all we have to do is swap, click confirm and wait for it to approve. Now, if we go back to our wallet, we can see that we have $1.94. So almost $2 in our wallet from yield farming from 24, 24 hours with $2,000. Now, we got a little help at the end from the 140% APR that it had spiked to, but the whole point of this is to show you that it's very easy to start to put your crypto to work. So, a lot of people don't know that this exists. This is also called yield farming or DeFi yield farming. 
And I like to do this with stables. So tokens that are only pegged one to one to the dollar so that you're not subject to impermanent loss. And so we're getting into often the details that I don't want to cover for today, but in 24 hours, we made $2. So I hope this video helps. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.